Alright, this, uh, hello there, it's Steven here, and this is going to be a tutorial how to install Halo Custom Edition, uh, open source, um, a dot yellow map, this being, uh, SPV3, the Truth and Reconciliation, and how to configure open source. That's what this will be. So things you'll need, you'll need, uh, Truth and Reconciliation, of course, I'll have all these links in the description. So you need the Truth and Reconciliation, just go ahead and click that download link, you'll need open source, of course, just click this right here, that download link. You'll need custom edition. If you don't have it already, you can download it from here. Um, then you'll need, I recommend downloading the universal UI. Um, that's right here. You'll need either uh, 7-zip or WinRAR. You can have both if you want. Okay. Um, I recommend just downloading either the Beta 3 32-bit or if you have 64-bit operating system, download the Beta 3 64-bit. So, now i got to go to my downloads folder. So here is the download folder, and we will first install the Halo Customization. So let's do that. <laughs> Head and open it, accept the agreement. Calculating disk space, install. Alright, so now you want to type in your CD key. I will do that now. Now your CD key will be on your Halo Combat Evolved uh, CD case. If you do not Halo have Halo Combat Evolved, you can find CD keys all over the internet. Um, I don't recommend looking for one though because piracy and all that. But um, let's go ahead and hit next. Next again. Uh, don't want Game Spy. Install. You can ins install Game Spy if you want. So now go ahead and wait for this into install. So we'll be right back. All right. So now you'll get this. Uh, you want to go ahead and X out of this window now. Um, go ahead and if you've, you know, uh, created a desktop shortcut, go ahead and right-click on it and go to File Location, Open File Location, go down to Halo Update. Go ahead and update it. Just by double-clicking on it, you want to open it um, with admin rights because if you don't. You'll be able to upload, up, update it, upload. All right. Whenever this shows up, just go ahead and click Run. All right. Game is successfully updated. So now keep this window open because you're gonna want it later. Let's go to our Downloads folder. Um. Now we want open source. So I recommend either having 7-zip or uh, WinRAR or both. Doesn't really matter. Go ahead, extract open source to somewhere. I'd recommend your desktop. Uh, next, accept the license agreement, of course. Um, I recommend not using um, this because this is just for people who are um, a pretty uh, are like developing with open source. Just have the Halo CE and make sure Halo CE is in its actual folder. Okay, if it's not, go ahead and click Browse and go to the folder that you have it installed in. Um, so yeah, this is its original folder. Uh, program Files x86 Microsoft Games Halo Custom Edition. Let's go ahead and click Next. Click Install. Okay, we don't need to view the README. You can if you want to, but we don't really need to. Let's finish. Um, all right, go back to your downloads folder or wherever your downloads are. Go ahead and open up the truth and the reconciliation. All we need is the dot yellow map. Um, now we want to go back to our Halo Custom Edition folder. Go to Maps, and then go ahead and drag and drop the dot yellow map into that folder. Now, if you have WinRAR, I think sometimes it doesn't like to extract to a folder that's, let's say, in your program files. So, um, extract it to your desktop and then drag and drop it into your uh, maps folder if that happens. I've had that happen to me before with some maps, but I'm using 7-zip right now. Folder there, because now I'm going to show you something else. It's the universal UI. Okay, the UI.map. Go ahead back to the custom edition folder. 
Program files, Microsoft games, maps, and drag and drop. Copy and replace. You can replace uh, the original one if you want. I am replacing it because I will be using it. So, yes. If you have a custom one in there and you do not want to install that map, you don't have to. Um, it just changes the um, UI to something else. So now I'm going to open up Halo Custom Edition. Alright, so now go ahead and open Halo Custom Edition. But first, I'm going to go to Properties and add. Make sure you um, add these if you do not have the UI installed. So slash dev space slash console. Do not add um, windowed. I'm just doing that for uh, this tutorial. Continue. Right. So let's do that. Now I have it set to windowed, so. Yes, let me... Whoops. And, uh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, um... Alright, okay, so... Now, in order to customize, um... Open source. You're going to need to open up just a random map. It doesn't matter what map you open. And of course, if you get this, allow access. There we go. All right. So now there's a few um, open source settings you can do in here. If you hit F7, that window will pop up. You have field of view. Um, if you scroll your mouse back, your field of view will get bigger. If you scroll folder, fo fo forward, it will get smaller. Uh, left click to save. Right click to reset. Um, weapon views, you can move the weapon around. Really not that useful. Hood options, you can... Um, if you have it set to widescreen um, and you have hood scaling off, it will stretch. If you have it on, it will not stretch and be in 4.3 like you see now. You can turn the hood off and on. Alright, so you want to change a setting. Okay. And then you want to leave. You want to do this because if you don't, then uh, it just won't be there. There it is. Okay, so once you change a setting, the open source folder will appear. Now, make sure that you change the setting and not reset it after. Just change the setting and the open source folder will be there. You will see um, off settings server, off settings user, and reports. If you um, you want to right click it, edit. All right. So now you'll have these settings here. Alrighty. We are going to make the font a little bigger for you to see it better. There we go. Alright, so you, I'm going to put... Um, I like to have that set to false. G buffer true. Bloom true. Uh, motion blur is automatically set to false. I recommend having it off if your computer doesn't like motion blur, but yeah. Pretty much, um, you can look online to see what, what all these settings do and if you want them or not. I'm going to change most of them to true. True, 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 true. Normal maps enabled. Of course, who doesn't want normal maps? Now, you want to do these if you want it to look better, pretty much. So changing things to true. Um, you don't have to change all these to true. I recommend not changing anything unless you know that you want to. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Map download um, is if you join um, someone on the internet and you don't have their map, it will download it for you using the uh, Halo mods.com downloads. So yeah, go ahead and click save when you've got that. There you go. And that's all you want to do for that. Now we want to go back into Halo Custom Edition. I'm going to show you a couple ways to boot into the map. Alright, so if you have the dev console enabled, go ahead and hit the tilde key, that's that little wavy key on your keyboard, and type in uh, map underscore name space A50, enter, and that will bring you to that map. Let's 
see truth in the reconciliation. And the other way of doing it is by going to, if you have the custom UI installed or you're using a different custom UI, uh, go into campaign and either start it uh, by playing through the game or if you have this, go to uh, blah blah blah, see uh, classic campaign, uh, new and then go ahead and load the truth and reconciliation pick your difficulty and you will get that and it'll start up again so yeah this was Steven here and I hope this helps um, if you do ha still have any issues I'm not sure what your issues will be um, check to make sure that custom edition is um, in the correct folder and the, like so let's say oh is custom edition in the folder supposed to be checked program fo files x86 if you're on a 64-bit system if you're on a 32-bit system it'll be in just program files and then in Microsoft games and it'll be in the, the folder Halo custom edition okay if it's not there then make sure that you install open source to its location so let's say you like oh I installed Halo custom edition on my desktop make sure you click browse on the open source installation and choose that folder. So this has been Steven, I hope this helps. I will see you guys next time with, who knows? We'll find out.